Bonus one. I got my shit back to back, I gave you my Look at this crap, man. He's so Let's gold. Go. Let's go. Let's go. GD. You hot fucking streak. So this is gonna be fun to watch. Get some fucking D. Look at the D you're running. I wanna even pay attention to what I'm looking for, man. Shit. Get some D, bro. What is going on, y'all? Yeah, it's your boy Takeaway here. Now that you can see, my dude Zeddy playing my dude ASAP. And Zeddy coming up with another excuse. <laughs> nah, but um, this is week three for my franchise game. Um, I just decided to upload this now. Do that week four is out just to update you guys and have everything on set. And this is a bad start. This is very. This is one of my few picks I've thrown in like my last couple games, and that was just a bad read. So I have no excuse for that. Just bad read. Um, I wanted to talk about Madden Ultimate Team real quick because I actually made a video before, but it got lost. Um, I was just talking about Ultimate Team and the fact that the competition is just bad. Like it's no competition Ultimate Team, and I haven't even been getting coin games. But oh, look at McMillan, man. He had a good game today, man. He messed up a lot of passes today. But yeah, back to Ultimate Team conversation. Um. I feel like it's not a lot of competition in there, and um, maybe the only competition you may get is coin games, and sometimes even that is not competition, but I've got very few coin games, but I'm not feeling that there's no, like, you know, there's no competition. I, I think, like, um, ranked games is probably better competition, you know, due to the fact that um, the higher you get ranked, you know, the more competition you are. That's what you would think of Ultimate Team, but how you get ranked i mean you could be playing some dude that got the game for the first day his first ultimate team doesn't even matter so i just think it's not you know all that too too fun um, i'm gonna be doing some mutt giveaways here soon so those of you mutt players that um subscribe to my channel um stay tuned for that you guys are gonna really enjoy that but um, as you can see i go up 12-0 um i did go for two every single time and didn't get it so that's not a big deal go for two every time so, score is 12-0, and we drop a pick. So right now, my opponent's not looking good right now. Had a bad start, or well, I had a bad start actually, but I was able to capitalize and turn the game around. So, he throws a nice little wheel route to his running back. So that's the end of the first quarter. And the score is 12-0. I believe he gets sacked, oh yeah. I think this was the game, or the game before is when my defense just all got injured. Like, my whole team was injured. My new dudes that I free my new dudes that I signed and look at McMillan with another big hit my new dudes that I signed just all got messed up and he gets a fourth and 18 catch uh, beautiful play call I had no zone over there so he deserved to get that and right here we drop another pick oh we kind of it was kind of a jump ball so I'm not gonna really call that a drop pick but um we play a nice defense this game you know we um on our opponent's neck we not um gambling too much we just Look, we just sent like a regular four-man rush right there. We just playing real good defense. We got him on fourth and two. Our opponent decides to come out and pass. We had everything locked up, literally. You guys can pause that and watch it again. Everything was locked up. Right there, I had Y open right there. I didn't see that until I was editing the video. But we dotting him down the field, you know. My new acquisition, Mike Wallace, leading the league in receiving. And will continue to lead the league in receiving. Um, I throw straight dots. I got Pat White, Mike Wallace, McMillan. Cameron Wake, which is injured, and that, those are all my pickups. Um, I'll be sure for my week four game to show you guys that before the game, my full roster and everything. As we throw a screen to Greg Jennings, and he gets a touchdown, so he has a touchdown in this season. And Mike Wallace gets injured. Like, the whole team gets injured. So right now, this drive is essentially like huge for him, you know, as he gets sacked. He needs to score. I think he gets ball half. He needs to score and put some points on the board. Because if he don't put no points on this board, I'm not going to lie to you. This game is over as he dodged me now. He went to a different formation with the tight doubles. And he dove down to milk clock. So, I mean, I guess that was smart of him. Just so I couldn't touch the ball again, as you can see. So, he scored, you know. So, that's, that, that was huge for him. And he got ball half. We just fast forward to a fourth and five. Um, I guess he picked it up. Actually, cut that out. Well, obviously, he picked it up. Second and four. Went to third inches, and he gets sacked. He had um, his tight end open deep, but um, he didn't see the read. As we get this stop on fourth and five, guys, I didn't even think I got this stop to be honest. But we got the stop, throwing up the laser, and Pat White ends up getting injured. Is it right here? 
Yeah, I mean, he deserves to get injured for that. That's a big hit, so. But I gotta realize, like, this season, they get injured, they actually injured for the season and stuff, so I gotta be careful, you know? When, um, the game, you know, like, when games are, um, when my opponent's getting blown out, if I am blowing people out, that I need to take people out the game because I do not want to lose my quarterback as I give up a kick return, man. So, he needed to score quick, and he got a kick return. My weakness of my team it's my linebacking core. My linebackers are all terrible. That's what I need, some linebackers. They are all terrible, like all of them. None of them is like an 80 speed and up. So it's kind of hard trying to lurk people as we get the whoop, whoop. I, I, I should have did it again, man. I wasn't thinking at the time, but I would have did it again. That would have been a smooth highlight. Um, later on in my season, I will give you guys a, a full season highlight, you know, just bring you guys highlights. Um, offensive highlights and defensive highlights from my Viking season. Hopefully, we make the playoffs. And obviously, my goal is to win the Super Bowl. Right now, I am two and one. About to make it three and one. I don't care who my next opponent is. Trying to definitely um, not lose again. I lost my first game, and that was kind of a bad start. So we're gonna try to turn our season around. As my opponent scores again, and look at this, third and ten. We don't have Pat White. I'm looking like a fool. Get sacked. Fourth and twenty-three. And I just punted the ball off. And look at this, man. He just breaks the sack. Like, that's Cameron Wake. He just breaks the sack. Like, get off me. Get off me. So he has the rushing touchdown. And then he dots me. Once again, my wide receivers are slow. That was a beautiful pass. And right about now, uh, I don't think I'm milking now. I'm just going to get the first down. I'm up eight points. And we throw a laser. So, um, right now, we can essentially start milking the clock. I could have dove down right here and milked the clock. But I'm going to um, pad my stats up, you know. Maybe if the game was more serious, if, if it had um, playoff implications, maybe I would, um, you know, not did that. But Mike Wallace getting loose again. He had a bunch of yards this game, like a million yards. As we truck and we get a touchdown. And right now, I mean, it's game over pretty much because once I kick, I mean, you barely come, you really come against that in this game. So he scores. Um, he goes for two, didn't get it. So I just threw a pick. Um, and the game is coming to an end but for those of you guys that stayed through the whole video and you like it um rate comment subscribe let me know what you guys like to see in the future and be sure to look out for content and more gameplays coming soon until then it's your boy takeaway out guys peace